Hello my fellow Indonesians. We're gonna do something a bit different today. I'm gonna do a slam poem. Now, I've never really done slam poetry and I don't really know how to do slam poetry. And I didn't write this down first. There's just a lot of things in my head and I want to say them. And sometimes they come out in a poetic way and I'm hoping it's too hot. It's too hot to take off the jacket. Okay. People will comment and say things like, oh, you look great, you look healthy, you've come so far, but in reality, your brain is spiraling and they don't realize how easy it is to fall back. You push and you push and you spend so much time trying to make yourself better, make yourself look better, seem better, feel better, but in reality it's so much easier to fall backwards down a mountain than it is to climb the steps. You try to pick up the pieces, but as you're rolling it snowballs, it gets bigger and bigger and you're a mess and you're falling apart, but to everybody else you look so strong, you look so healthy, you look like you have your life together, but you don't. Things are falling apart piece by piece. You're breaking apart and nobody else notices because you're wearing a smile and you're saying you're fine and you're laughing at jokes and you're going out with friends. But really, you're a mess. Your brain is telling you you're not good enough. You never have been good enough. All of this was just a ruse. You got better, but now you're going to fall harder than ever before. And it's hard because you believe it. You don't want it to be true, but you know that it is. People tell you you're worth it. They're proud of you. You're, you're strong. But you can't believe them because you believe the voice in your head. The voice in your head that tells you things shouldn't be easy. Why should things be easy? Other people have it easy. You don't deserve to have it easy too, but in reality, no one has it easy. Everybody's fighting their uphill battles. Some battles are steeper than others, some battles are longer than others, but everybody has a battle. And this is yours. It doesn't look big. No one else thinks it is. It's a bagel on a plate. But you know, you stare at that bagel for 30 minutes. You don't touch it. You bang your head against the wall in frustration. You take deep breaths as you're Breathing gets harder and harder and your heart is racing and it's just a stupid piece of bread. And you know that. But you can't bring yourself to touch it, to pick it up, to put the crust between your teeth and bite it and chew it and swallow it and feel it move down your esophagus and rest in the pit of your stomach. In the same stomach where your anxiety is growing and it's telling you, you can't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Because if you do, your world will fall apart. But it's just a piece of bread. How can this piece of bread create all the thoughts that are swirling in my head? Thoughts that are telling me, you've overcome this before, you don't want to go back. Because I know those voices are true. But I can't help it. I know I should, I know I shouldn't be in this position, but here I am staring at this stupid piece of bread for 30 minutes, willing myself to pick it up, to take a bite, chew, swallow, repeat. It'll be over. And that's it. But I can't. If I can't make myself do the simple things that help you sustain life, how am I supposed to go to school and get good grades and get a job and have a life if I can't do the basic functions that give you life? So yes, that was a slam poem because I have a lot of poems in my head and some of them are about different things. Some of them I like to write down, some of them I don't. This one I decided, let's just go for it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I kind of like writing dark poems because there are a lot of things that my brain has struggled with over the years and 
I feel like it's time to release some of those things. Like maybe if I release them into the wild, then other people will realize that they're not alone. They weren't struggling by themselves. Other people are struggling in silence too. And so, yes, that was a poem that I had in my head for I don't know how long. And now it's out there. So, yeah, that's today's Vlogmas video. Slam poem. If you think I should do more slam poetry or if you have any topics that I should talk about for slam poetry, please leave them in the comments and like this video if you think I did half decent, maybe. If you want to see more of me, you, should, you can subscribe by clicking over here. You can see my most recent video by clicking over here. And you can see a video that YouTube will generate for you by clicking this one over here. As always, thanks for watching.